when you open up the car.fla file, you'll see the car in its starting position on frame 1 over on the left hand side. The aim of the animation is to get the car to move from the left of the screen along the road and off to the right of the screen over here. Now I've already set the background up ready to go to 120 frames. So what you need to do is you need to go to frame 120. Every fifth frame is coloured in a light grey colour. So it should make it a little easier to find. Now you'll need to right click on that and insert a frame. Not a keyframe, not a blank keyframe, just a normal frame. And when you do that, it will come up and you will have your car and it will be visible again still on the left hand side. The next step in the process is to come down to the grey bar on the timeline that you can see next to the layer that says car on it. Right click on that and at the very top of that list there should be a create motion tween option. Click the create motion tween option and your bar should turn green. Move to the last frame of your animation, so that frame 120. And then all you need to do is move the car to its end position. So it doesn't matter what you do in the process of moving the car, you can move it however you like, so long as it ends up where you want it to finish. So I'm going to finish over here. What you will see when you've done that is a line has been created with dots on it. That line is the path that the car is going to follow. So wherever that line actually goes, that is where the car will move to. Now my line is going fairly straight across the top of the road, so my car will go in a straight line. Once you've made that movement, hit the enter key and it will play your animation. Now the animation's not playing in real time and not all of the animated elements that are in there are actually moving. In order to see the animation properly, you need to hit F12 on your keyboard. And that will make sure that you can see all of the animation running in real time.